This episode is brought to you by Haynes Knives. Find your new favorite knife at HanesKnives.com slash mancast. That's H A I N E S knives.com slash mancast. Or follow them on social media at Bird Forge. Testicular fortitude means having deep seated masculine courage and strength, guts, balls, manlyhood. Testicular fortitude on the Manlyhood Mancast is where we take a look at men who have beat the odds, men whose courage has left a lasting legacy. ever needed to circumcise a gnat, but your Walmart knife from 13 years ago just isn't cutting it? Pun intended. Well, Haynes Knives is here to fix that. Travis Haynes is a bladesmith that offers custom handcrafted knives, anything from personal everyday carries to kitchen knives. Find your new favorite knife at HanesKnives.com slash mancast, or follow Travis over on social media at Bird Forge and let him know we sent you. That's H-A-I-N-E-S Knives.com slash mancast. And again, over at Bird Forge on social media. Today's featured testicular fortitude portrait of a man with balls is John Wesley Powell. Imagine taking a lead musket ball to your arm, having it sawn off in a field hospital, and then going on to explore uncharted and impassable rivers on a raft with only one good arm. As his name would suggest, John Wesley Powell was the son of a Methodist preacher. He grew up with a fascination for exploration and nature, and as a young man, went on several river expeditions to study fossils and geology along the Ohio and Mississippi rivers. But then the Civil War broke out, and he earned a commission as second lieutenant in the Union Army. At the Battle of Shiloh, his right arm was shattered by a miniball, and his arm was amputated. He continued to serve in the Army throughout the war, helping with Sherman's artillery. After the war, he assumed the role of Professor of Natural Sciences at Illinois Wesleyan University and Curator of the Illinois Natural Historical Society Museum. But you can't keep a man like Powell contained to the classroom. With one arm, he went on to explore Pikes Peak and the Front Range of the Rockies. In 1868, he put together an expedition to explore the Colorado River from Wyoming down through the Grand Canyon. Powell took along a crew of hunters, trappers, and Civil War vets. He was begged not to go. One arm through dangerous uncharted rapids is dangerous business, but he went anyway. And that trip was worthy of those warnings. One of the party's rafts sank in Utah, tanking about a fourth of their supplies and most of their scientific equipment. Four days later, the party entered the Grand Canyon and marveled at the beautiful rock formations, but they almost lost another boat, and in that mishap, they lost even more of their food. Three men left the expedition, tired of the hard journey. Those three men were killed by a band of natives who thought that they were invading their territory. As Powell and the remaining crew made it to the area that is now known as Lake Mead in Nevada, he halted the expedition, returning two years later with another crew, to make more accurate maps of the Colorado River. These expeditions yielded much geographic information as well as linguistic and cultural information about the Native Americans that lived in the area. So anytime we look at history, we can see the positives and the negatives. Critics of Powell's work say that some of his ideas and opinions about the Natives dehumanized them, and it had a large impact on the public policies that would later have a very brutal effect on their relationship with the U.S. government and the westward expansion. And while I may not agree with everything Powell said, did, or thought, we can certainly agree that he was a man whose courage and relentless adventuring spirit show that he had testicular fortitude. Do you have testicular fortitude? Do you want to embrace your life of courage? Join our elite group of powerhouse men who are changing the world at manlyhood.com slash brotherhood. This episode is brought to you by Haynes Knives. Find your new favorite knife at HanesKnives.com slash mancast. That's H A I N E S knives.com slash mancast. Or follow them on social media at Bird Forge. 
If you want to be a better man, check out our website, manlyhood.com, for blogs, videos, and more from our Manlyhood team. And you can also join our private Facebook group, Manlyhood Man Cave, where you can meet up with a band of brothers who will challenge you and help you on your journey of manhood. This episode is produced by Hatcher Media for manlyhood.com. Be sure to subscribe and leave us a review on iTunes, YouTube, or wherever you're listening to the show. Tune in again for more of the Manlyhood Mancast.